Hey guys, Lazy here again. This is episode 9 in a series facial for the complete beginners. And in this episode, we're gonna go through layer styles. So let me just get this off for you guys, and then we can make a start. Um, I can probably actually show you guys here what this is all about. So if I just get rid of a lot of this, um, can keep that. Right, we're gonna be doing it with this text right here. I'll just rename it to layer styles. And as you can see a gradient is applied to the text so I'm just gonna double click on that and remove that like so. So what we're gonna go through today is drop shadows, pretty straightforward layer style. If you click on drop shadow, tick it in, click on it and there's a big old option menu right here so you can change the color of your drop shadow to red or black but obviously you're going to use black today another thing you can see that you can't really see that shadow only a tiny bit so what I want to do is I want to increase the opacity so you can see it better another thing you can change is the angle so obviously shadows are created by sun so what this does it creates a virtual sun and then it reflects the shadows from that angle so at the moment if I increase the size of my shadow and the distance and if I change it to normal then you can see as I go around it will change the angle of my shadow Okay, if I turn the spread down, increase the size, turn it up more, then you'll see how it works out. So if I increase the size of the shadow, I mean the distance, and then change the angle, then you can see depending on where the angle is, that's where the shadow is going to land. Another option you have is distance. So obviously, the bigger this is, the further your shadow is going to be from your layer. Another thing you have is spread so the higher it is the more it spreads okay but if I turn the size down increase the spread then what it does it basically will be a block colour instead of sort of like a gradient smoky how shadow looks like so if I increase the spread turn down the size I can sort of make it look 3D okay I can change the angle like so turn the size down a little bit more but basically what it gives you is a hard shadow if I turn it back to multiply where it was the mode and it doesn't change much really unless you change the spread and the size okay uh, you can change quality right here, you can play around with these and then you get different effects but that's it for drop shadow. Now another thing you have is inner shadow which is basically obviously the complete opposite instead of reflecting the shadow onto the outside it will reflect it onto the inside of your image. So if I turn the opacity up all the way, increase the size and then you guys can see how it affects our text. Um, choke is basically sort of like the spread on the other one. Um, so you can play around with these again and these as well. But basically, it's pretty straightforward. You can just play around with the settings and see what you can come up with. Out of glow, it's basically drop shadow sort of like drop shadow but instead of shadow it glows so you can change around the opacity the spread the size obviously this is too much but this is how you can make things stand out with glowing softer or precise then again you can change the quality I'm not going to go into too much detail in the glow same thing but in instead of being it on the other side it's on the inside so you can play around the settings again and uh, see what you can come up with bowl and emboss if I zoom in in here 
might be easier for me to show you guys um, if it comes up a gradient overlay don't want that so what you can do you can choose out of bound in the bound emboss pillow emboss and all that sort and depending on that things will change differently if you change um, the style okay so in the barrel you can change the depth of it okay and depending on that your text will look different and make it look sort of 3d style well not 3d but it gives it a bell basically you can increase the size not too much you gotta be quite quite careful with these um, with these options you can soften the edges of it so if I zoom in more you'll probably be able to see more of what's going on um, so as you can see if I want to make it look like as if it got a soft edge then I can I can also add contour to it I can change the range and then it looks sharper I can also add texture to it, I don't ever use it but you can um, so that's it about bevel and emboss next thing you got satin um, I don't really use this I don't really know what it does um, but basically you can play around with it and it's pretty straightforward what it does really I shouldn't really make a tutorial about it because all you gotta do is come in here and play around with these and um, see what happens right because there isn't too much depth to it if I don't know I can make a very detailed about video a very um, in-depth video about these but I don't see the point because I don't use them often this is color overlay uh, I do use this sometimes but I mainly use gradients so what it does it basically overlays this color onto your layer so instead of um, changing the color of that this is changing the color of the layer so it doesn't matter what color is behind it it will always be this color because you laid the color over it you can change it to um, in, in the mode you can change it to overlay and all that instead of normal so you can play around with this as well the gradient overlay I've shown you that so I'm not going to go into that again pattern overlay um, basically you can pick patterns here you can download more and it will overlay it onto your current layer which is at the moment is this text so it will overlay that um, stroke basically it gives your layer or current yeah your layer it gives it a black outline okay so if you went over it with a marker pen basically you can increase the size you can increase the position so you can put it inside you can put it in the center you can put it outside the blend mode you can change there as well like probably I think you can do that with every other layer style um, fill type you can fill it with a gradient instead of having it just a plain color you can change the color of it to red and that is stroke and basically this is all the layer styles that you have and blending options that I'll probably make a separate video about this so this is it for episode 9 guys which was about layer styles please do like comment favorite and subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next episode